I had a pizza this evening, and I, I sent you a photo of it. And, you know, from that, I, I thought that maybe this would be an opportunity to talk about fractions a little bit. Fractions are ways of talking about uh, dividing an object into pieces, or a number into pieces, and talking about, you know, sub parts of it. Like a pizza, right? I had my pizza, and I, I sent you the picture of it, and it was round-ish. Imagine it was round, and imagine this is round as well. It's, it's close to round. Well, I took my pizza, and I cut it into six equal pieces. Okay, they weren't exactly equal, but I tried really hard, and I'm trying hard here to draw these as equal pieces as well. So, say these are six equal pieces. Now, if I eat one of those pizzas, one of the pieces of pizza, you say, well, how much pizza did I eat? Well, there were six pieces, and I ate one of them. So we would say that I ate one-sixth of the pizza. This is a fraction, one over six, we call it one-sixth. Now, the bottom of my fraction, that's called the denominator. The denominator is the number of pieces that you cut your object into, and the top, the numerator, is the number of pieces that you're talking about. So if I ate two pieces of pizza, then we would say that I had two-sixths of the pizza. If I had three pieces, then we'd say that I had three-sixths of the pizza. And, and this is how we think about fractions. Uh, now, I didn't have to cut it into six pieces. If I wanted to, I could have cut it into four. And if I had those four, and I ate one of those four, then how much did I eat? Well, four pieces, and I had one of them. So I had one over four, or one-fourth of the pizza. Okay, that works pretty well. And there are some other details about fractions that we're going to talk about a little bit later, but right now I just want you to get the basic idea that fractions are a way of taking an object and cutting it into smaller pieces. Now, let, let's talk about a few other things here, and, and, then, and then we'll move on to another topic. Uh, something that's, that's worth noting here uh, is that what if I ate one-fourth of the pizza, and then... I put it in the refrigerator, and the next day, I ate two more pieces. Well, those two brown pieces, those are two out of the four pieces, and the total amount of pizza that I ate is one plus two, three, out of four. So if you keep the number and the denominator constant, four, four, then you can just add the, the numerator together. Another thing that I, I want to point out to you, and I think you're going to find this interesting, and we will talk about it in more detail later, but before we do, we need to talk about uh, other concepts like division, is I'd like to point out that uh, we can represent the same amount using different fractions. So if I took this pizza and say I could divide it into two pieces, or I could divide it into four pizza, pieces, Or I could divide it in 
into 6. Now, if I ate one of these two, I ate one of the two. If I ate two of these four, one, two, or if I ate three, one, two, three, three of those six, we have different fractions, but those fractions refer to the same amount of pizza, or the same amount of an object. Now, to understand why this works, we have to understand division, and we'll come back to that, but I, I thought that is something that you could think about and make up your own theories while we uh, worked on other ideas. Another thing that I think is worth noting, and something that will show you how useful this is, is that if I have a, a pizza, there's no limit to the number of slices I can make. I mean, sure, a real pizza is made of atoms, there's just a certain number of atoms. But this hypothetical pizza, meaning uh, a, a real number, uh, I could take this and I could cut this into uh, terrible drawing, terrible drawing. I could cut this into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I could talk about eating one slice of that, and I would have one slice of the 16. Or if I wanted to, I could cut it into 100 slices. And if I cut it into 100 slices, there would be, you know, I couldn't draw them all. But if I cut 100 slices and I ate one of them, I could eat one out of 100 slices. Or I could cut it into 1,000 slices and eat one out of 1,000. You can cut this as many pieces as you want. And that's the kind of the neat thing about fractions, is if you know these fractions, and going back, remember we could represent the same amount using different fractions? Well, I can represent, if I have a thousand slices, and imagine I do this properly, well, if I ate 500 of those 1,000, So I would eat 500 of those 1,000 slices. That's exactly the same as eating one of the two. So think about that, and we'll come back to it later. But for now, just know that if you have a fraction, you're basically taking an object, you figure out how many parts you're dividing it into, and then how many of those parts you're thinking about.